right, so, now on to the fourth and final of the DC Showcase anime short reviews, and of course that is Catwoman. Now, Catwoman came with uh, Batman Year One, and it also has the same voice actress from that one, uh, Eliza Dushku. And this is probably my least favorite of the four, and allow me to explain. It's not that I, I don't like, oh, I'm not like, oh, I hate this one. It's my least favorite because for a few reasons. One, I'm kind of, this is written by Paul Dini, and don't get me wrong, I love Paul Dini's work. He is one of the best Batman writers and comic book writers in general. But in here, it's kind of, it feels kind of lacking for some reason. And there is there are some good points with it, but there are also some bad points. And I'll get out into that in a minute. Now, in here, we have pretty much Catwoman going on this, uh, what we look, what it looks like is a quest to take on this villain Rough Cut. This is the second, the, this is a second one that had a villain in here, and Rough Cut's a pretty D-list villain. I mean, even by Batman standard, that's, fu that's, this fucker, I think, you think he's more of a, now that I think about it, I think he's more of a Green Arrow villain. I don't know, he's that, he is that low on my mind that I can't remember what villain this fucker's supposed to be. So, anywho, we have Catwoman trying to find rough, rough Cut, and, you know, he is at a strip club. And here's where my pro main problem comes in, and it's gonna sound weird, but let me explain. Uh, here's the thing. We get, it, it, there is a scene here where we see Catwoman, you know, s stripping. She does a strip tease for everyone, and it does turn badass real quick. But here's the thing: this is my problem with it. It gets a little too. I'm like, like it was cool at first, like, oh yeah, that's cool, Catwoman stripping and all that. But then it was kind of like, okay, we get it, boobs. Come on, let's get let's get back to the story because that scene kind of dragged a bit, didn't it? <laughs> and allow me to explain why that scene kind of bugs me. It's not because. It's like, oh, well, it's a girl in animation, da 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 it's, it's bad. No, it's not like that. I feel like the whole sex sells thing kind of plays into here, and I'm not really a big fan of that. This is kind of why a lot of harem and ichi uh, animes don't really interest me, because it's usually... It's usually there for, you know, sex sells. It's all for, you know, show... You know, it's all for exploitation and not much for the story. It doesn't help at all unless that's... Unless it's a, you know, a hentai, then kind of helps, but I'm not into hentais, so this doesn't help me in any way. So it, that's kind of the thing when it gets... When you see so much of it and get... it, it you, you see so much of it and kind of overexpose it, then it just kind of gets boring for me, and I'm like, all right, get back to the story. But... However, how she breaks out the whip, and that's interesting all of its own, and how she just takes out two of the guys, and then, you know, this story is pretty much, this story is pretty much easy to explain. It's Catwoman versus Rough Cuts Gang, and she is beating the shit out of everybody left and right, no Batman in sight, and we later discover that this is all because uh, her friend Holly has been kidnapped, you know, she was part of a uh, slave tra of a, you know, human, you know, human trafficking thing that uh, that Rough Cut was a part of. He was pretty much, you know, trying to uh, traffic these girls out, and Catwoman saved them, and also Holly Robinson at the same time. So that's pretty much the story. There is some just excellent action, there's some really good motorcycle chase, there's also some great hand-to-hand -hand fights between Catwoman and Rough Cut, and but having said that, that's it is what it is. It's a cool... It's a nice little action thriller, but again, the whole... And also, they kind of really expose, you know, they do have some shots of uh, Catwoman's ass and boobs a few times, and I'm like, okay, we get it, she's hot, can we get back to the story, please? But having said that, I'm not saying this is a bad one, I'm saying this is worth checking out, but compared to the other three before it, I feel like this one was a little lacking, and that's, that's saying a lot with a Paul Dini script, which I feel like, I feel bad for saying that, really, I... Because I don't get me wrong, I don't. It's not like oh, Paul Dini sucks. This this one sucks for Paul Dini. Da, 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 da. I'm not saying that at all. I just feel like this wasn't like his full A game. And I feel like his real A game was with you know when he was working on the other big animated films. So this isn't much of a problem really, because this is just a, an 11 minute animated short. So it's no real big problem with me. It's just a minor little thing. And knowing that it's Paul Dini's work makes a little. It kind of makes it a little odd to talk about. So. 
Anyway, like I said with this one, you can check it out and judge for yourself. This is just my opinion as always, but out of the four, this is the this is kind of like my the little the weakest. I, I still say that the Jonah, the Jonah Hex is my favorite one, Green Arrow being my second, the Spectre being my third. Well, actually, no, the Spectre and Green, and Green Arrow are just neck and neck. That's how good they are. I don't want to, like, if I had to rank them, that they would be tied. But all in all, hope you guys enjoyed this and all the other reviews I've done for the DC Showcase ones, and I'll see you guys later.